Right now at 11, the search is on for an endangered whale calf who was spotted off the coast of South Carolina sometime last week. It was suffering from serious injuries believed to be caused by a boat. WJCL 22 News' Tia Maggio spoke to wildlife advocates about this. They say change needs to happen. Juno is a North Atlantic right whale, one of the most endangered species of whale in the world. There's only 360 left in the population. Earlier this month, Juno's calf, the first of the season, sustained serious injuries. Wildlife experts believe a ship is what did this to her. It's hard news. It took me a couple days to even be able to zoom into the picture um, to look at it without, you know, getting choked up. What Odron says the calf is still alive, its injuries could prove to be fatal. When we see injuries like this, it's likely going to be a dead calf in the future. According to Oceana, boat collisions are one of the leading causes of death for right whales. 2017, there has been 19 documented cases of these right whales being hit by boats, and 12 of those have resulted in death. Julia Singer says speeding is the main concern. Oceana found nearly 80% of ships violated the speed limit around the time the calf was believed to be hit. By slowing down and by following these regulations, you really can make a difference to protect these whales. Now the Tybee Island Marine Science Center is actually building an exhibit to show you what these right whales look like. This is actually modeled after Juno. The goal is education. We need to right our mistakes and make sure that this is a good lesson um, to move forward with. That's because ultimately, Odron says the survival of these whales lies in our hands. If we don't act, we'll see these animals go extinct in our lifetime. Tia Maggio, WJCL 22 News. And the Tybee Island Marine Science Center says its right whale exhibit will debut in February.